Hey, shit. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. So we're here to do the Daily Collective for Tuesday, April 2nd, okay? If the reading does not resonate, don't try to make it, all right? I'm using the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed, all right? This deck has both upright and reversal meanings. So let's see what we get for the collective. Tuesday, April 2nd. Thank you, Spirit. Tuesday, April 2nd. Okay. You have the Rhino Spirit. Overcome any obstacle. Okay. The bottom of the deck, which is the because or the reason, is the Cow Spirit. The miracles are endless, but it's in reverse. Okay. You may feel like opportunities are not available, okay? Or, you know, things cannot turn around for you by being in reverse. But we're going to read the message, okay? So this card number is 15, and the Rhino Spirit number is 50, just in case that applies to you anyway. The number 50 breaks down to a 5, and that's about conflict or challenges. And so when it says overcome any obstacle, you're very capable in doing so, okay? So let's see. Number 15, the cow spirit, the miracles are endless, but in reverse, it says this. Cow spirit asks you to pay attention to how you nourish your mind, body, and spirit, because right now you are wobbling around like a newborn calf on its unsteady legs. Perhaps you've been spending too much time distracting yourself on the internet or obsessing over a relationship or choosing to eat food that is not healthy. Whatever it is, you're being nudged to assess how you are looking after your needs. Remember, the universe has a way of reflecting back to you events and conditions that match how you treat yourself. Cow Spirit reminds you that the universe wants to give you the very best, but needs you to do your part to participate and nourish your well-being. Heed her message and all, everything will shift in your favor. Okay. Are you doing yourself dirty? Okay. Like, are you, you know, kind of focusing on the wrong things, you know, going into maybe a slump? I'm going to say a slump, but like, you know, you know. Let's see. Why is this here? Cow spirit in reverse. Okay, cow spirit in reverse. Okay, don't let the obstacle overcome you. You overcome the obstacle. Okay, all right. So it says creativity, inspiration, productivity, creation. Bring out the greatness within. Okay, mystery, magic, intrigue, suspense. You're entering unknown territory. All right, summer. It's time to see the sunny side. Your answers arrive in summer. Pause, inaction, calmness, step back, wait for the sign. Hidden path, detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction, okay? All right, so Spirit wants you to think about all of what you want to create and uh, manifest for yourself with the creativity card here, okay? With mystery being here, I feel like God, Spirit, Source is putting an opportunity in front of you that you might be very intrigued by or you know that you might not have ever expected okay with you know the mystery card saying magic like it might come out of nowhere so with the summer card pause and hidden path 
See the sun, see the sunny side in something being like at a standstill in something not happening and there being a pause because it might be opening up an opportunity for you to go in a new direction with the hidden path card being here or to explore or to detour. Okay. Beliefs is on the bottom. Similar or clashing belief systems can bring you together or keep you apart. Okay. With sacred journey. Maybe you and whatever you were, are detaching from or whatever you are dealing with just wasn't in alignment with you. So spirit wants you to see the sunny side. Okay. Don't, don't let the obstacle take over you. You take over the obstacle. Okay. One more. Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords, okay? Um, you're you're closed off, okay? Maybe even angry, all right? But the Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You know? um, yeah, like the, the Queen of Swords energy, you know, is a little, a little you know, cold. Um, but it, it's, it's about, it's clarity, okay? It's... Uh, She's clear. She knows. Um, yeah, but the nine of swords. Okay, so you you might be, you might be, kind of frustrating yourself. Um, yeah. Okay. You you need you're frustrating yourself about something. Okay. Um, you're closed off to maybe opportunities you might know you need to open up, or know you need to change, or know you need to have a conversation, or know you need to address something, but you're allowing yourself to kind of run away with the stress of an obstacle. Okay. And with the death card here, you need to allow that to rest so that you can have a new beginning, okay? You need to allow that obstacle that's, like, driving you crazy with the Nine of Swords to die, okay? Let it in, all right? Um, because with the Queen of Swords energy, you know already intuitively what it is you need to do. Um, you're very wise. You have the information you need. You know, you know. Anything else for the cow spirit? Yeah. The six of swords and the eight of cups. You will be able to move into a better state. The six of swords is moving into calmer waters, moving into a better state when you leave the past behind. Let it burn. Let it burn. Okay. That's why this message is saying, think about what all of what you want to accomplish for yourself. You know? Because the message yesterday was the universe is more than abundant, more than abundant. Think about all of what you want to accomplish for yourself, okay? With the mystery card here, anything can happen. You enter an unknown territory, okay? With the summer card being here, pause and hidden path, see the brighter side and there being no action. See the brighter side and there being a pause so that you can go into a new direction. It is opening up doors for you, okay? I was just talking to my friend about this the other day. Rejection is divine protection. If something is not working out, it is not meant to. Okay? You don't know what's on the other side of that door. Okay? Let it burn. Okay? Overcome any obstacles. Whatever you are allowing yourself to stress about, let it die. Let it end. Okay? Let it end. All right? Overcome any obstacle. Number 50. All right, so that message says this. We always have the choice to press ahead. The rhino spirit strength offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles. This animal spirit knows there is more than one way to open a path to what you seek. When rhino spirit appears, you are reminded that you have a marvelous ability to overcome obstacles in multiple ways by going around them, shattering them with the force of clear deliberate intentions or even transforming them into clouds that drift away by refusing to allow them to limit you apply your rhino spirit with creativity and no obstacle can stand creativity okay for you have the magic magic okay all right to make and Many ways in which to make it, okay? For you have the magic to make and many ways in which to make it. Your power 
is awesome right now. Rhino Spirit also wants to remind you that when an obstacle appears to prevent you from getting what you desire today, it means that something much better is coming. Rejection is divine protection, okay? Keep that in mind when you consider the nature of the obstacle in front of you now. Great Spirit loves you so much and only wants the best for you. The best. So you might be trying to hold on to an opportunity that's not the best, okay? See the brighter side, okay? The positive in there being no action in a situation and you not going towards a situation and you not being a part of a situation. Why is Rhino Spirit here for the collective? Overcome any obstacle. You have the creativity, and the magic to do so, okay? With cycles, momentum, force, life cycles, stay grounded in the now. Focus on the now because life goes in cycles. There's a past, there's a future. You can't control the past or the future. Stay grounded in the now, okay? With mirroring here, reflection, twin wholeness, synchronicity abounds, okay? Mirroring. Okay, there is someone, a group of people, a person, maybe even an aspect of yourself that is encountering the same energy. Okay, with inner child, playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live to the fullest. Okay, spirit wants you to live in the now. Okay, all right, bottom of the deck says denial, repress emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface, vibration. Raise your vibration, okay? You might be in denial that you can't overcome an obstacle. Raise your vibration. You might feel like, oh, this is doomsday. It's, you know, this is how it is for me. It's never good for me. Raise your vibration, okay? Because with balance here, it's, you need balance, okay? It, you have to raise your vibration in order to develop or to create balance, okay? Yeah. Everything works out in divine timing. Divine timing is after that. Understand that if things are happening for you, if there is an obstacle, it is meant to protect you. Okay, God only wants the best for you. Why is Rhino Spirit here for the collective? Overcome any obstacle. Okay. okay. The will of fortune. In divine timing, a judgment will be made. Okay. With the devil energy and the ace of pentacles. Okay. You're focusing too much on the new, okay? In divine timing, a judgment will be made. You're focusing too much. You're obsessed. You're focused. You're fixed on, like, the new, you know, like either new opportunities or, you know, like what's next or, okay? The full energy, the knight of swords, the five of cups. The Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's time for you to come out of this funk, right? Whatever has been like, you know, kind of keeping you in a, you know, in a negative energy, you know, where you're coming up as the Queen of Swords, you're not approachable. Nobody talks to you. You feel you looking negative at everything. You're stressing. Um, it's time for you to come out that energy, okay? It's time for you to um, have fun with the full energy. It's time for you to enjoy the right now, okay? Enjoy what's happening for you right now with the full energy. To take leaps. To step out on faith, okay? And with the Knight of Swords energy and the Five of Cups, it's time for you to remove this sadness from your life. This disappointment. Um, this, you know... If only I had it, this shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know, because everything happens for a reason, all right? Um, with the Knight of Wands energy and the Six of Pentacles, it's time for you to do that so that you can move towards or go towards what is more balanced and appropriate for you, okay? With the Lover's energy and the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Wands and the Death energy, okay? This is making a decision 
to leave the past behind. Okay, with the Queen of Wands energy and the Death energy, the Queen of Wands is very confident, successful, ambitious. Um, Spirit is guiding you to leave the past behind because whatever has happened in the past is impacting how you view yourself. It's impacting how you, um, it's impacting your creativity, your ambition, your confidence. Okay, so Spirit wants you to leave the past behind. All right. Yeah. And focus on what it is you want to grow for yourself. Focus on what it is you want to do. Creativity. So that's what I have for you, Shiv. I hope this helped. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like. Hit the like button down there. Comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Share. Send it to your friends. Post it to social media. And subscribe. So that you know when I post. Miss you guys already. Bye. <laughs>